Good morning. It's Tuesday, January 31st. I'm Chris Sabadil. Good morning. I'm Justin Smith. The JHS Report is next. Congratulations, Jeff Hyatt. Your participation in several activities for the American Heart Association during lunch times last week raised approximately $1,000 for the American Heart Association. If you would like to donate to the AHA, you may by Thursday, February 2nd. Checks need to be made payable to the American Heart Association. Attention National Honor Society members, your first 10 hours of community service are due by February meeting held on February 2nd in the auditorium. Please be sure to have documented the information for yourself as well as turn it in to your secretaries by then. Students, if you have not turned in your first semester books, please turn them in to the bookstore. Another Anchor Club member needs to sign up for the Anchor Club dance now until February 8th. Please bring your money and guest names to Ms. Molnar before or after school. If you have not had your immunizations, you must do this by no later than Wednesday, February 1st. If your immunizations are not complete, you will not be able to allow to participate in class, which means that you will be in the gymnasium all day. You will also not be allowed to participate in any extracurricular activities or events. If you have any questions, please contact the health office. Hyphen newspaper love lines are back again. From now until February 6th, Hyphen staff members will be selling messages in the upcoming February 10th Valentine's Day issue. For just $1, you will receive a short message to confess your love to final special someone. For just $3, see your picture in stunning color in the next hyphen. If you're interested, see a hyphen staff member, Mr. Scott, or visit the hyphen room in C219. You can also purchase a love line during your lunch hour. The JHS Report is happy to air your announcement. Have a teacher or staff member email the announcement to Mr. Gross, and we'll do our best to make sure that your announcement gets on the air. We'll have the latest Jeff High weather forecast plus your latest Jeff High sports after the break. Attention Clark County residents, thank you for voting Moby Dick Seafood your number one choice for seafood in Clark County. We serve high quality cod sliced and breaded daily. Delicious onion rings sliced and breaded daily, never frozen. We are located at 1700 East 10th Street in Jeffersonville. Open till 9 Monday through Thursday, 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday and 8 p.m. on Sunday. Stop by and enjoy a whale of a sandwich. How important are you to your bank? Do they put your interest above their own? Or are you lower than that? At First Savings Bank, our customers are always first. Here you don't have to be rich to be treated like a million. And because we're proud to call Southern Indiana home, your money stays right here in the community. So if your bank isn't treating you like you're the best customer they have, please stop by your local First Savings Bank. First Savings Bank, where you're always first. Good morning, I'm Dalton Conway with your latest JHS weather forecast. Today, sun and clouds mixed, a high of 62. Tonight, overcast with showers at times, low 52. Chance of rain, 40%. Tomorrow, a few showers in the morning, then clouds lingering in the afternoon. High 59. Chance of rain, 30%. That's a look at your latest JHS weather forecast. Now here's a look at sports with Tim Holt. Good morning. I'm Tim Holt with the latest Jeff High Sports. Here are the pairings for the Class 4A Seymour Girls IHSAA Basketball Sectional. Defending Class 4A State Champion Jeffersonville will meet Bedford North Lawrence in the opening round of the Seymour Sectional. With the win, the Red Devils will face winless Jeffers... With the win, the Red Devils will face winless Jennings County in semifinal action. In the other bracket, the Floyd Central Highlanders will face Seymour in round one, with the winner facing New Albany in the other semifinal contest. Some great highlights from a wings eating contest last night with wrestling coach Danny Strzok. Strzok seen here on the right in the helmet cam won the event with all proceeds going to raise money for elementary wrestling uniforms. This evening, the Jeffersonville boys basketball team is having a fundraiser night at Zaxby's. They will receive 10% from all sales from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Please come out and show your support for the Red Devils. Zach's piece is located on Allison Lane in front of Meyer. The men's golf team winter conditioning will be held on Tuesday and Thursdays in the gym, starting at 7 p.m. this Tuesday, January 30th. Anyone interested in joining the men's golf team should attend. Anyone with questions or concerns regarding winter conditioning, see Mr. Coram in, in room B205. 
That's a look at sports. Stay tuned. A final word from the news desk is next. We are, yeah, I said it, we are. This is Rock Nation. Pledge your allegiance. Get your boutiques on. All black, everything. Black cards, black cars, all black, everything. And I girls a black purse. Riding with they diligence. I can't more in depth if you boys really real enough. This is La Familia. I'll explain later. But for now, let me get back to this paper. I'm a couple bands down and I'm trying to get back. I gave the other grip, I lost a flip for five stacks Yeah, I'm talking five comma six, zero shots, zero Here the back to running circus round Now we squared up Would you like to do something special for a friend for their birthday? You can with a WJHS birthday greeting. It's very simple. Bring six pictures and five dollars to WJHS room H 130 and we'll help you say happy birthday. That's the latest Jeff Fine News. We hope you have a great day. I'm Justin Smith. And I'm Carissa Padilla. Thank you for watching the JHS Report.